Hey everybody, welcome to my seafloor spreading tutorial so that here in a couple minutes you're going to have a model that looks pretty similar to this one right here. And so I made a video because the directions are kind of confusing and I figured I would save a lot of time by making a video. So here's how you need to make sure you use this video. As I tell you to do something, you pause the video, do it, make sure you did it right, and then continue playing the video until I give you the next step. So I've got a couple of things here uh, in front of me that you need to be make sure you have as well. Uh, first off are your directions. I'm going to be following those uh, step by step on that. Um, I've got my piece of paper. It might be blue. It might be a different color. Um, and I also have this paper right here. Uh, and of course I got my, my scissors, my ruler, and a little bit of glue. So first step it says to do is it says take a full size sheet of paper and fold it into eights. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to do anything else until I do that. And so uh, if you're like me at first I didn't really know what that meant. So here's what it means. Piece of paper, you're literally going to fold it over like this. And now you notice I'm being very careful not to just quickly do this. I lined up all of my edges so that I have one fold. And so um, I'm going to ask myself, am I doing this right? I don't know. Well, if you look in the picture here, it says or it shows eight different little boxes there. And so right now I have two boxes folded. And so I'm going to keep it like this and I'm going to fold it the same way again. So here we go. So again, I'm being very careful to make sure I get all the edges lined up correctly before I do my uh, crease with my fingers. There we go. Um, not done yet. I need to fold it one more time. And so basically, and by the way, to fold it this way, I'm just going to put it down and then just fold it over on my table here. It's a lot easier to do. So you're folding it the same way like we've been doing. Now I've got one more time. It's going to end up looking like this. And to figure out if I did this right or not, I'm going to open it up. And if I did, I should have eight boxes, which I do. Time to keep on reading here. It says, and by the way, if you haven't done that yet, pause the video, go do it. Next step, it says fold. Uh, it says then fold in half lengthwise. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it. I'll show you here. I'm going to fold it this way right here. So I think we call this hot dog style. That's still a thing in how we, how we fold papers because it's a hot dog bun. Anyhow. So again, I'm, this is going to be a little harder this time because you've got all these you know, papers being all crumbled up. So make sure you get it lined up right. Good to go. Now I've got a line going straight down the middle here that I just folded. It says cut down, it says uh, cutting down the fold and then share the other half with a partner. So you're literally just going to cut down the middle of what you've been doing. And again, I'm making sure I'm making this as straight as I can so that I don't mess up anywhere. Um, it does say to share with a partner, so hopefully you listen to the directions before the video that you're doing this for you and somebody else. So there you go. Give that to the other person. Um, so now I'm moving on to step two. And by the way, if any at any point you need to rewind the video, please do that. Step two, it says, um, where the paper is folded into eighths, each one of these represents one eighth of a whole, uh, cut off the two bottom folds, now making the paper into six. Into six. And so uh, when I did this my first time, I looked on this picture and realized that they're talking about the bottom two I'm cutting there. So I'm going to look at that picture, do the same thing. I'm going to count how many boxes I've got here. I've got one, two. So I know I'm going to cut right there. And I should have six. Number three, it says fold this half lengthwise and find the middle crease. So again, that's the, the hot dog bun style. So I'm going to fold it like this. And I'm going to make a middle line. There we go, that's my half. Got all my corners lined up. 
Here we go. So we should have something that looks like this. Make sure you keep it folded um, like this because it says at the middle crease mark a line that is three centimeters long. And so uh, I'm going to count. I have six boxes here. And so the middle line, wherever it is, which is in the middle, should have three boxes above it and three boxes below it. What it says to do is to mark a line that is three centimeters long. I'm going to try and get here so you can see this. Let my pen go. Of course, Mr. Shepard can't find his pen. About every day. There we go. So it says the middle line. So I've counted my three boxes down. I'm going to say that this is the middle line because I got three down here, three up here. Now, here's the important part to do. Make sure you're doing this with the part that doesn't open up. So I'm going to draw my line right here. This side opens up, this side doesn't. This is three centimeters long, and so I'm going to find my three centimeters on there where my finger is. I'm going to line that up on the edge. So it should look like this now. And I'm going to draw a straight line across. So it should now look like this. Uh, if I keep on reading, it tells me to mark two more lines that are three centimeters long at the creases creases closest to the ends of the paper. And so that's these back two pages or uh, parts right here. Three centimeters at each. And I'll show you the final product here so you know what it looks like. And again, pause the video if you're doing this with me. Um, or if you want to wait until I show you how it should be done, then you can go from there. All right. Here's what I have. I've got three lines now. This one's in the middle. And then these two are on the the last little crease. So you can't really see it in the video, but there's creases here on here. All right. So we, we've completed steps one through three. Um, actually, no, we haven't. The last step of three says to cut these lines. And so what it means is I find my line and I'm only going to cut the line that I've drawn nothing more and so you can do that on your own here you can kind of see what I'm doing I'm cutting only the line and I'm again I'm making it very straight and basically what you're doing is you're going to make a, a little gap in the paper that will be in the middle of it you'll see here in a second so again I'm not cutting all the way across I'm cutting it so that I can have um, three different parts here cut across. I open it up and now I've got these little lines here that we're going to use to help make our model. So now I'm going to work on this part right here. It does say color this stripe cutout um, having two colors alternating with stripes. I went ahead and did that for you and I printed a black and uh, I guess or a white and gray version. You don't have to color. It's already done for you. So I have this paper here this is cut out the stripe, cut out along the dotted lines. You should now have two strips of paper. So it's talking about this right here. Um, if you do this how you should, you need to make sure that you are only cutting where these dotted lines are. So I'm going to do that and make sure you're carefully cutting it. Again, you probably want to pause the video here for this. I'm just going to do it real quick. So notice I have this paper here now. I'm going to cut straight down the middle. And these are representing the, those magnetic strips of uh, rock that we've, we've learned already about how they go different ways whenever they are out there. So we have two pieces of paper here. Um, so we've done number one and two. Uh, on the second part here. Now I'm going to go down to where it says number one under to model to model seafloor spreading. This is place the two colored strips of, pa of paper or st colored strips facing each other. And so to do that, you're going to take this one and this one to make sure they match how they are, and they're going to turn inward. You know you did it right um, if the outside is only uh, it's white. 
So the colored parts are facing inward. Now it says to insert them through the center slit, making sure that the pull in comes through first. That's talking about this thing right here. So I'm going to take this, and by the way, mine has some, some stuff on the outside because it's, it's a double-sided uh, page. Yours will be blank right now you know, if you did this correctly. So I'm going to put it uh, right here in the middle slot so that I'm making sure that the pool is the one that you'll see first. Okay, so I've got both pieces of paper up here now. Uh, and it says to... Separate the strips and pull them towards the side carefully. And so you don't want to pull it all the way through. I'm just going to grab one of these. And I'm going to pull it this way. I'm going to grab the other one. I'm going to pull it this way. I've got something that looks like this. Um, on the back side of this, you're going to see a thing that says to glue here. Okay, it says right here, it says fold and glue the bottom of the model. So I'm going to pull these through until I have that last little piece left. I'm going to fold it over. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to fold it over. So now you'll see here, I oh, kind of messed up there. I've got this right here. I'm going to glue that spot right there. And again, make sure you're pausing the video and doing this with me and re-watching any parts you might have that you might be confused about. So I just use a little bit of glue. I'm going to fold those down onto it. And basically what that does is it holds it from um, pulling all the way through. Okay, so right now this should look like on this side like this. And then on the other side you'll have your strips of paper. Now, um, it says to um, put these pull tabs down inside each side of the page over here. So I'm going to do that here, where that you made the other line earlier. So now you'll no, you're noticing I'm, I'm starting to make what looks like an ocean ridge. And that's, that's good because that's what we're, we're trying to go for here. There we go. So I'm going to leave that like that for now. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the, the hard part of this. Um, what you're going to have to do next is, um, in your journal, you're going to glue this into your journal. Now, here's something you need to make sure you do when you glue it. Don't glue it on the back side here where the paper is. You're only going to glue it on the edge here and the edge here. And then you'll put it straight down, and then I can still move my pages there. Um, once you do that, you will need to make sure you also... Uh, cut out the little labels and figure out where you'll label them. Um, and again, this is the final version of what it should look like. I can pull these guys right here, and well, since it's a mid-ocean ridge, I should pull them at the same time. So I'm going to start, and then over time we can tell in this model that they're pretty sim uh, symmetrical-like during it. So hopefully this helped. Um, if not, um, if you're in my class, you can definitely ask me. Um, otherwise, you can check with a partner um, or rewatch a part of the video. So, good luck.